G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. We've got eight pots out in the bay we put in yesterday. Uh, eight pot overnight soak. We've hidden five and uh, we've got three out in the open. So we've legally hidden with the black sinking ropes and a tag. Hopefully nobody's touched them. Not sure about the three out in plain sight. Got Emily with me today. She's going to be running camera for us and uh, we'll go pull these pots, see how we go. Here's our first pot. There's our black sinking rope. Very hard to see. Got our ID tag on it. So unless you pretty much end up on top of it, they're yeah, pretty hard to find. Work very well. Hopefully this hasn't been touched. All right, let's see how we go. One crab, he looks like a keeper. He does. All right. Good color. Let's pull it up here. Okay, let's see if he's big enough. It looks like he should be. No, not quite, bummer. Very good quality crab though, nice and dark, he's an A grade. Unfortunately he's undersized, so you can see he's got the Maltese cross on there, very beige shell. Uh, the Maltese cross is a sign that they've been mating with the female, so they actually rub on the back of the shell of the female and cause that Maltese cross. Very good quality crab, but he's undersized. We'll let him go. So we're actually in Crocodile Creek. Here's another one of our black sinking ropes. Very hard to see. Um, hidden legally with an ID tag. Now the main creek has got, a pro's got, must have 50 pots in there. And there's a heap of wreck fishes today. We're actually in between moons, so we need tides. It's the back end of the full moon. And we haven't started to build to the new moon yet. So not a lot of run, but there is some. Oh, I can see a few crabs in there. So we've come up much further than the main creek and put our pots in a little gutter or an offshoot. Very muddy. Oh, must be a cod in there. crabs and a nice colour there might be a couple of legals A grade full crab. Let's see if he's big enough. Yes, he is. Maybe five mil over. I'll just chuck him in the esky for now while we sort the rest of these out. That cod's a good addition. We'll see how big he is. Oh, he's about 45 centimeters. Nice legal cod. 
We'll keep him, they're not bad chewing at all. Righto, what else have we got crab wise? He looks like a keeper there too. Let's see how big he is. Whoops. Very small nippers though. He's legal. Full. Chuck him in the esky. Nippers aren't very big, but he's another A grade crab. Rock hard. No movement in the shell anywhere. I think there might be another one here. No, he's under. What about this guy? Yep, he's legal, just touches both spikes. Another very hard crab. No, all too small. Under the flippers. Between the next set of legs, this one will have to go just around the shell, and this one goes over the nipper into his notch because he just spat a bloody nipper. That's one tied up crab, very hard shell. Quality heavy crab, this one, very rock hard. Hard shell on the side, all the body sections are very hard, great colour. Got some good weight about him. Once again, under the flippers, into the notch. Pull it tight. That quick and easy, one tied mud crab. He just spat a nipper, the other one's tiny. We'll let him go. Okay, this is our third pot. Tied off to the mangroves again. down the bottom there. He looks like a keeper. Just get this mud off. That's a horse. Right, oh, undersized. This one here is a keeper for sure. Look at that, about a centimeter over. Really good weight. Very hard. Very hard on the sides as well. Good quality crab. We'll get him tied up. That little crab caused a bit of carnage to his flipper. Oh. Uh -huh. 
There it is, that quick and easy. What a nice crab. Tied in about 20 seconds. That's three in the bin. Two small. Two small. This pot not so hidden. Let's hope no share farmers have helped themselves. Usually do a right here, just in the middle of nowhere. It's out of the main current. Quite deep though. There's a big Jenny in there, and I think we've got two big bucks. Look at that. That's a definite keeper. So is this, yeah, definitely two keepers. Try and get them out here in time. Look at that fella. Now that is one nice A-grade rock hard crab. Look at the size of the nippers. Pretty big for here where we are, as they do get fished a lot. Easy keeper. There it is. Another beauty. Rock hard. Nipper's not quite as big, but an A-grade crab. I'll see if I can turn him around. Easy keeper by about five mil. Nice crab. Let's have a look at this Jenny. Very small nippers, big Jenny, rounded uh, flap under the carapace where they hold their eggs. That's uh, quite a large Jenny. We'll let it go. These two are undersized. Very good quality, very good quality. Let's see how long it takes to tie him up. Right against the esky. That's crab four. Crab five. Another good quality crab. That is a beauty. Very hard. Crab five in the bin. Four pots to go. Now, this is a pot that's just in the middle of nowhere. Out on the flats, out the front. It's in about a meter of water now. Got one keeper, I think, and a little sand crab. He's easier keeper. Let's get him in the bin and check him out. He wants to escape. All right, let's check him out. Very feisty. Nice rock hard crab, great quality crabs this time of year. No flexing on the sides once again, he is rock solid. Let's hope he's legal. And he is. Great quality crabs this time of year, winter mud crabs. Nice. This one's actually in the channel to Coco. Not on the flats. We're a fair way off the um, shoreline, but it is in the channel. Got a bit of 
weight to it, that's for sure. Very heavy. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah. I have a feeling that there might be three keepers here. We've got six in the esky, well not in the esky, in the bin. And three of these might be keepers. Oh! Please. quality crab but he might be a bit small yep he's under another good quality crab yep just just on legal chuck him in the esky quickly This one, another very hard A grade crab, spike to spike, nice, just legal, not massive, but full, chock-a-block full, crab seven. That he's got some really good weight to him. Rightio, two pots to go. Got pretty high hopes for these two pots. We're in a tiny little creek, which is quite difficult to get into in these tides. So fingers crossed. Going to have some beauties in it. Here it comes. There's a big Jenny. There's a lot of crabs in here. A lot of crabs. Oh, I don't know if there'll be any keepers though. Maybe one. Color and quality of those crabs. Okay then. Whoa. There's the big Jenny. I think these will be too small. They are. touch no he's about a mil under bummer nice full crab okay this is our last pot
let's hope there's a couple of keepers here. The mouth of this tiny little creek. single crab, are you kidding me? Okay, here's the result of our eight pot overnight soak. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crabs. None of them are massive. They're all legal, all very hard A-grade crabs. Uh, Crocodile Creek is full of pros pots right now. There's wreck pots everywhere. So we did pretty good considering Look at the colour of these crabs. So this one here isn't dark brown, but he's rock hard. So that is a full A grade crab as well, compared to a dark brown crab. They're both A grades. So very important that you do check that the shells are hard. They're hard on the sides. All the body sections are hard as well, because they can look different at times. This one here is quite light as well, but he is rock hard. So very good quality crabs, not huge. So this is the following day back home now. Had to pretty much dump the boat, the crabs and run. We had to go out for dinner last night, which was really nice. Anyway, the boat's all clean, drying out. Clean the crab pots, they're drying out as well. Now I've kept these crabs alive overnight, and one actually did die. So the best way to um, keep them alive is under a damp cloth. This is an old towel in a ventilated box. And as you can see, these things are very much still alive. And they would love to grab a finger. All great quality crabs. This poor fella dumped both his claws last night. I kept them in the fridge, they should be all right and uh, now it's time to cook them up. So I'll put them in the esky on ice, boil up some salt water with the uh, four ring burner here and uh, get them cooking, cool them down and then they'll be ready to eat. Now I like to cook my crabs clean, but the first thing we're going to do is put them to sleep in the esky on ice, make a bit of a salty brine make them dopey and then clean them before I cook them. That's my favorite way of doing it. I think they just turn out much sweeter and much nicer. So, without getting bitten, we'll get all these guys in the esky. And they all want a piece of me. They should be asleep in no time, then we'll clean them, get them in the boiling water and they'll be ready to go. Now these things have been on ice for about 10 minutes, very dopey now, we'll get them all out. Nice and calm. Now, they're not dead. Now, because they've only been on ice for about 15 minutes, if you let them warm back up, they will most certainly come back to life. Now, before I clean them green, I like to dispatch them all. And the quickest and the easiest way is like a screwdriver or a sharp knife, punch the shell, dead. Dead. They are properly and humanely dispatched now. All right, I'll get these others sorted. Time to clean them. So they're not moving now. They've only been in ice for 15 minutes. I've spiked them all. They're all properly dead. So to clean them green, pretty much the same way as you would cooked, but it's very simple. Lift that bottom flap up. Peel the carapace off. Peel the face off. Strip the lungs off. 
crack them in half. Now, to get their guts out, careful of these spikes along here, is tap them in the bucket, and it's that simple. There is a halved clean green crab ready to go. That easy. Righto, this big fella. Same deal. Ah, that's very hard to get off. Always a good sign. They're full when that carapace is hard to peel off. Okay, face off. All the lungs off. That easy. I snapped them in half. And without spiking yourself there, quick tap, cleaned, ready to go. That easy. I reckon they taste so much better when they're cleaned. They don't have that bitter taste about them. Um, with all the guts being in them when you cook them, this is definitely my preferred way to eat them. That one's pretty, there we go. And these will last for like a week in the fridge on ice. In the fridge or on ice, I should say. So they don't have to be eaten straight away once they're cooked and after catching a bunch of muddies, I eat crabs for days. That easy. Nice and clean. All right, we'll get the others done and then get them in the boiling water. Put some salt in. How much salt? About that much. I don't know how much that is, but when they're full, it's okay. It's only when they're half full that they taste horrible when it's quite salty, but Anyway, that much salt. And put some water in. Let's get this party started. There we go, she's a light. An old four ring gas burner does a beautiful job. Get the lid on that, let it boil. And put the crabs in. The water is properly boiling. Now we've got our clean crabs sitting in our um, bin just there and they have warmed up. I prefer to cook them warm, not chilled. I believe the meat has less chance to stick to the shell. It's equally as important to chill them down on ice straight after they're cooked to shrink the meat away from the shell. That's my preference anyway. Don't cook a cold crab in boiling water. So let's get them in. Watch the colour change. There we go, plenty of water in there. Now, I um, actually turn this gas cooker down here now so that it doesn't boil right up as it was furiously boiling just then. Anyway, that's still sort of rolling. So I turn the main two outer rings right down. There are only seven crabs in there now. Put the 10 minute timer on from now. 10 minutes is all they need, then straight on ice. There's a nice gentle boil. So as I mentioned, I did turn it down straight away. Don't want to have a rampaging boil going on and overcook them. So there are about three minutes left to go and they'll be going on ice. 10 minutes is up. They are cooked, look at that. Quick slosh around. Straight in on ice. Sorry about the steam. Okay. More ice on top. About half an hour, they'll be good to go. These things have been on ice for about half an hour now. Got the old trusty rings banner. Let's see how they are. Oh, 
not too bad. Definitely pretty full. Not a bad looking nipper at all. Well, that's the end of another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm. That is good. See you next time.